Fundamental problem F21 says when force P is applied to the rigid arm ABC, point B displaces vertically downward through a distance of 0.2 millimeters. Determine the normal strain in wire CD. So I'm just going to start off by redrawing the diagram here on the right. So we got point A, point C, and then point B. And then we've got the distance between A and B, which is 400 millimeters. And then over at point C, on top we have point D, which is a pin on the roof. Then the distance between B and C, 200 millimeters. And between C and D, 300 millimeters. Then of course at point B we have the force P, that's vertically downwards, which is going to pull this lever downwards and so this blue line represents the second position of the arm and I'll call this point at position 2 B2 and then this point on the right C2 and we know that the distance between B and B2 is 0.2 millimeters since that is the displacement at point B and the displacement between C and C2 I'll just label as delta C and of course, we also have a pin at point A, just like so. And so that completes this diagram showing the displacement of the bar. And so of course here, we need to find delta C in order to find the strain from CD. Since strain, of course, depends on length. And so what we can do here is focus on this left side of the bar specifically the right triangle formed by points A and B. So I'll just quickly go ahead and redraw this right triangle, which will look just like this. And so this length right here between A and B is of course 400 millimeters. And then the vertical length between B and B2 is 0.2 millimeters. And now we can go ahead and do the same thing, but for the bigger right triangle formed by points A and C. And this length between A and C is of course 400 plus 200, so it'll be 600 millimeters. And then this vertical length is of course delta C, which again is what we're trying to find. And so if we have these two triangles, how can we compare them in order to find delta C? Well, we can go ahead and use proportions. So for instance, for the bigger triangle, we can have the ratio delta C over 600 millimeters, which is of course adjacent to delta C. And that'll be equal to the ratio of the smaller triangle, where we have 0.2 millimeters, which is similar to delta C, over 400 millimeters, which is similar to 600 millimeters. So of course here we can see that we now have the proportional ratios, which allow us to solve for delta C. So solving for delta C, of course, we simply multiply the 600 to the right side. And so delta C will be 0.2 divided by 400 times 600, which is 0.3 millimeters. So now that we found delta C, we can now go ahead and find the normal strain in wire CD. Since of course we know that strain epsilon is defined as change in length delta L over original length delta naught, which is of course L minus L naught over L naught, where in this case, the original length L naught is just 300 millimeters. And the extended length L is equal to the 300 millimeters plus delta C, which is 0.3 millimeters. And hopefully now you can see why we needed to know delta C in order to find the normal strain. And so simply substituting in these values for the normal strain, we'll have epsilon CD is equal to the extended length 300.3 millimeters minus the original length 300 millimeters 
over the original length 300 millimeters, which is simply equal to 0.001 millimeters per millimeter, which of course is basically unitless. So hence the normal strain in wire CD, delta CD is simply 0 0.001.